This is 55 TV and we've come to Bortax Lear's exhibition. Unfortunately, we've come a week early, but uh, me old Marco, who I've known forever, has let us come in here and, you know, hang out a little bit and um, see what he's up to. Um, it looks great. How are you doing? Yeah, really good, thank you. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's all coming together. I'm, I'm glad I've given myself two weeks to put it up mm. rather than like, rushing up here and doing it in a week. But, um, yeah, it's cool. Um, where have you been recently in the world? Um, I was in uh, India last year for six months. For the last year, I've sort of been um, living down in Bath and uh, living nice and cheap down in Bath. Someone's been looking after me, and, uh, which is great. And uh, Thanks very much for that. And, uh, and uh, yeah, just, just working, trying to save up a bit of cash and just having an, I've got, I've had an access to an amazing studio down there where I've been working. And uh, at the weekends and in evenings, I've been able to get on with my work. And great. It's fantastic to have that sort of space and time to think about shit, basically. Sure. Uh, how it was India, like, inspirationally for you, for your work, and generally, how was India? We love India, don't we? Yeah, I do love India, yeah. India is a mad place. It's, <laughs> it's just mental. But, yeah, no, it was, I mean, the, I suppose, if anything, it's the more, it really inspired me with colour. It, the colour of it was just something that I brought back, and the psychedelia of India is, like, something that's, that's sort of really missing in our society and uh, it's my sort of I suppose this is one of my uh, my interpretation of trying to bring that psychedelia sort of back into our culture hopefully <laughs> that's great because yeah your work's really gone up a notch with the color I mean we love your work and um, I can see a, a different side coming out um, where else have you been India you're in Bath at the moment you're in New York recently yeah, as well New York, yeah checking out I met out with some friends in New York had a great time in New York I think you know, it's such an inspiring city, New York. It's such so cool, isn't it? It's, uh, you know, I have great fun in New York. Do you think it's cooler than London, though? I mean, you've been here for a long time as well, but what do you think? I think it's a difficult one because I've never lived in New York. Um, you know, London, I think, is a great place. And, uh, but, uh, cheers. And, um, but New York, from what, you know, I always get a buzz. But I'm only there for a week. And, I mean, living there might be a different ball game. But it's, uh, yeah, I would, uh, I'd love to give it a go. So if anyone wants to sponsor me, yeah, I'm up for moving to New York for a bit. <laughs> hey, why don't we just go 55 TVs to be a bit more global? Mm. That's not just on the internet. It needs to go to New York. Actually, we're off to Cannes. So that's our first trip. Really? Um, we're off to Cannes for the Film Festival. Oh, yeah, cool. it's going to be in like two weeks' time. It's going to be nuts. Um, talk to me about the inspiration on your work. What are you trying to show people? Um... I suppose the inspiration for my work is just childhood and being, you know, and, and fun stuff that when you're a kid, like fun fairs and all that sort of thing, carnivals and, yeah, and kids' TV and all them sort of things, and just trying to, um, I don't know, I'm just trying to cheer people up, really. There's no other, no other concept behind it other than I'm trying to brighten up someone's day, which I think, you know, good art or whatever art in general should cause an emotion of some sort. So my emotion I'd like to create is a smile, so it's, uh, you know, just to cheer, cheerly, just to cheer people up. Because everyone's bitching about the doom and gloom at the moment, isn't they? It's like, you know, it's not that fucking bad. At least we're not starving. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. So. Uh. Yeah, no, we've got other bits of work we've seen of Lutz over the years. I've seen him grow, actually, as an artist, as, as he has with me. And I really like the way you've come from all that, always that perspective of a child with your work and some of your small sculptures and some of your bigger sculptures as well. You're mainly doing painting, are you, now? Um... No, I have got a lot. I'm just sorting out the paintings at the moment, but in these boxes behind us, I've got lots and lots of sculptures that I've been working on, so a new range of sculptures, which is where I'm sort of um, buying like ornaments and toys and then breaking them and reassembling them into strange sort of creatures and uh, trying to, you know, just basically, I suppose a little bit Picasso-like and just sticking and sticking ready-made objects together and seeing what else, seeing what funny things you can come up with. There's sure. quite a few amusing things in there. Hopefully people will like them. They might think, what's this bollocks? But, you know, hopefully they'll like them. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sure they will. <laughs> um, Luke, it's really nice to catch you here. Yeah, We're going to catch great. Luke um, at the opening next week. You just caught us back after our commercial break. That was perfectly timed between, between like the end of a conversation and back in the room. Um, how are you liking 55 TV, Luke? Yeah, really liking it, man. This is fun. And as I said earlier, this is my first proper interview. So, um, you know, this doesn't seem so bad. It's nice that it's you, Chris. It's well, nice that it's you, mate. After knowing each other for so many years. And uh, it's been a long time, mate. It's been a long time. It's good to see oh, you, mate. I'd like to tell you how long. We give out a game away on a race. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Well. Yeah, we are. We are, yeah, we are holding together. <laughs> I, li I like to think so. Just about.
Um, what are collaborations you've got? Are you working with any other artists, anyone that's inspiring you, or the people, who are, especially around our sector? Because um, there's so many of us around still, yeah. all producing pieces of work and doing little projects. Um, who's you've got in mind at the moment? Um, well, the one person I suppose I've been working the closest with recently, or well, two, is mainly I've been working a little bit with Five Four, who I did the last show with, and he's helped me put a paper together for this show, which I'm really, you know, it's going to be really cool, hopefully, so we can give away. Uh, uh, what collaborations do you work with him on? Um, with uh, I worked on the Brick Lane. Uh, show with him we did the uh, that was the last show i did in london was um was with him as a collaboration between the two of us and we both like use like a lot of fluoro in our work and stuff um in the pipeline i've got um with an artist called bert who i work like quite closely with not the bert the, bert, the whirlwind bert that uh <laughs> The, you know, the blonde whirlwind. The blonde Bert. bombshell, Bert. We love Bert. Yeah, we um, love tell Bert. me about it. He's, uh, well, we're hoping to do Bert and Bore Tusk's uh, bottle shop in the future, which will be uh, like a joint show that we've had a few, you know, a few ideas from, some comedy products and the like. Um, and also she's going to be one of the muck cakes at the private view. I have her, my girlfriend, and a few other good friends that are going to be glamorous ladies with cakes on their heads adding a little bit of entertainment for the, uh, you know, for the shenanigans and make it a bit more of a laugh. Cause a bit of mischief. But yeah, Bert's work is, uh, yeah, it's cool, man. She's a great artist and a very good friend. And, uh, right. you know. We're going to we big you up, Bert. We want to see some work of yours. We need an interview exclusive because Bert's been hard to pin down. And she, keeps, sure she, she never stops moving, that's why. She keeps <laughs> shunning 55 TV. I don't know why she heard she any bad news from it. On the other night, we had uh, uh, Coco de Mille, which apparently was a good fun. Got, yeah. got her spankers out and gave everyone a good beating with them. I wish I could have been there, but unfortunately... Me too. <laughs> um, Luke, it's great to speak to you. Yeah, yeah we're going to catch you at the show very soon. Literally after this next commercial break's coming up, we're going to go straight into Luke's, um, Luke's show. So, um, this cool. is 55 TV. A week's time then. I'll see you in a week. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Last word? Uh, yeah, I keep smiling. <laughs>